Hello, I'd like to welcome you to today's presentation on agility and rational team concert. My name is Bill Nazaro and I'm the Vice President and Chief Technology Officer for Icon ATG. If you'd like to find out more information about this Agile webcast, our on-site training, or professional services, please contact us at 636-530-7776 or 866-426-6871. Almost everyone has heard of how Agile approaches achieve higher productivity with a minimum of complexity. Although relatively late on process, the highly iterative and fast-moving nature of Agile projects require both disciplined execution and simple yet sophisticated tools to automate the communication and collaboration required to successfully execute the daily development plan. In this presentation, we will explain the basic Agile principles and their value to the project, provide a rollout checklist for organizations deploying new Agile processes, discuss the role and importance of automation, and we will introduce Rational Team Concert and discuss how it supports agility. Our agenda for this webcast is as follows. First, I'll provide an overview of agility, then we'll discuss agile best practices or suggested practices, and lastly, we'll provide an introduction to IBM Rational's Team Concert. Where are we? Overview of agility. In this section, we'll provide an overview of agility, discuss why agility is really an attitude and philosophy, talk about project and organizational implications when trying to become Agile, present Agile principles, and finally a discussion about iterative development. The Agile Manifesto is a statement of principles which are the underpinning of Agile software development. It was drafted in February 2001 where representatives of various new methodologies such as Extreme Programming, Scrum, DSDM, Crystal, and feature-driven development met to discuss the need for lighter alternatives to the traditional heavyweight methodologies. In this manifesto, they stated, We are uncovering better ways of developing software by doing it and helping others do it. Through this work, we have come to value individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, and responding to change over following a plan. That is, while there is a value in the items on the right, we value items on the left more. Agility an attitude and philosophy. What is sometimes confusing for people new to the Agile movement is that there is no software development process called Agile or Agility. Rather, Agility can be thought of as an attitude, a philosophy, or approach to software development. Some defining factors or questions of Agility are how do we continue to provide value to our customer and how do we respond to or react to change in our projects? I find these two questions to be of the utmost importance and our answers to them to be revealing about how we approach our software projects. When a change occurs, do we avoid it or embrace it? Scott Elmer once said at a conference that a late changing requirement should be viewed upon as a competitive advantage. Truthfully, how often have we had this viewpoint, or do we prevent the change so we can deliver the software to schedule? When change occurs, do we adapt to change, or do we stick to the current plan and resist change at all costs? Unfortunately for many of us, we avoid the customer's changes and are then surprised when the customer isn't, isn't satisfied. I also want to take a moment to talk about what agility is not. Agility is not coders doing whatever they feel like. For example, if you have compliance regulations and you need to document certain portions of the system so you can meet SOX, SEC, or FDA regulators, then by all means document it. Agile says do what you must, but do no more. Also, being agile doesn't mean that things are unplanned or undisciplined. That couldn't be any further from the truth. When working with an agile mindset, you realize there comes a point that if you plan out too far, it starts to lose its value. So we like to plan things based on a horizon and realize there starts to be diminishing returns when we go too far beyond that horizon. So what are the implications of agility? First of all, teamwork, usually in small teams, is vital to success. Ideally, you like to have team members co-located and dedicated to a single project. Also, being agile requires significant individual discipline and skill. This point is so often overlooked. Agility requires a rather skilled and multidisciplined team, and for many organizations this can be quite difficult because we've become extremely specialized in our skills over the last decade or so. Agility means you need to embrace iterative and incremental development. Waterfall development in so many ways is contradictory to any Agile approach. For many organizations, just moving from waterfall development to an iterative or incremental development approach can be challenging enough. Being Agile means that business priorities and development time drives the projects. We should approach our projects thinking, do just enough process but do no more. Is it good enough? Let's not gold plate it. 
and are we delivering just in time, and most importantly, are we providing value to our customer? I'm always thinking and I'm always asking, what is preventing us from moving fast, and if so, can we remove it or go around it? Lastly, and this shouldn't be understated, adopting any Agile method requires changing individuals and organizational behaviors. Agile Principles I provided a list of 12 Agile Principles from an article that Scott Ambler wrote back in 2003, and they are Our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. Welcome changing requirements even late in development. Agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage. Deliver working software frequently, from a couple of weeks to a couple of months, with a preference to the shorter time scale. Business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. Build projects around motivated individuals. Give them the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done. The most efficient and effective method for conveying information to and within a development team is face-to-face -face conversation. Working software is the primary measure of progress. Agile processes promote sustainable development. The sponsors, developers, and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. Continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances agility. Simplicity, the art of maximizing the amount of work that is not done, is essential. The best architectures, requirements, and designs emerge from self-organizing teams. And lastly, at regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective, then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly. Iterative philosophy. We've discussed agility, but I think we should also understand what it means to be iterative. An iterative approach maps the problem and the solution into manageable bytes. It builds the system in incremental bytes. It always focuses on the goal, delivering the proper executable software. It always knows where you are, where you're going, and when you'll get there. It doesn't try to define everything up front, and doesn't try to answer everything before beginning. It admits that some answers cannot be found until you make some mistakes, and lastly, it moves forward so you can discover quickly what you've overlooked. Also, looking at the call-out box on the bottom of this page, I wish to highlight all Agile processes are iterative, but not all iterative processes are Agile. So there's the expectation that you all are already iterative in your software development approach. If not, you'll have to also tackle becoming iterative. I'll bring this point up again later in this webcast because it will suggest certain tools and practices that should be in place.